Okay, welcome to the battery ad. I have here Fleming, and Fleming is going to be get fed here a combination of goat's milk, exact bird food blend, which is normally the milk formula. There's another formula, but I'm not using it because it does cause bloat. Bloat, and uh, I'm using um, I combine that with uh, blended mealworms. It also has some additives in it. Anyway, he turns out he likes it. He's been flat on his growth scale for a week, and hopefully he's gained back a gram already today, and hopefully he'll keep that up. He's about um, two grams under what he should be right now, so I'm going to hopefully get him all caught up on his weight here. So, let's give it a try here, guy. These guys are kind of small, so I don't know really how well you're going to be able to see him. But basically, I give him a drop at a time, and he'll lap it up. So I'm going to lap it until he's full, but actually, i got to cut him off because he's been eating too much. If he eat too much, then he can cause bloat too. Or they could get a twisted bowel, and you don't want that either. So I'm going to eat them calories. And see where we are here. We're at uh, two and a quarter. We'll go to we'll go a half of that, half a cc, and that should be just about right. I usually keep my hand fingers closer to his head so he can't move it so much. Makes a hard target if he's uh, moving his head all the time. I guess I should have had take two on here. I tried this before. I had the TV on, so it was pretty noisy. I had a t-shirt on, it made me look fat. These videos do make people look fat, just like they say it is. Yeah, I'm going to have to readjust him a little bit. He's getting a little nervous. I keep the paper here for his... Give him something to grip onto. Um, if I hold him my glove, he's uh, too slippery and he gets nervous. He's a little more comfortable with a piece of paper. Plus, it keeps him a little cleaner. I can wipe his, wipe his nose off when he gets a mouthful and spills it all over himself. Oh, okay. I don't know, guy. Like you were doing last week, I'd practically pry his mouth open every day. Get him to eat anything. I guess he just didn't like. He definitely doesn't like straight mealworms. He just spit them out. Straight blend, that is. And I guess he didn't really care for the milk that much either. When I combined the two of them, boy, he just took off. I was afraid he was going to eat too much last night. Lost a couple of these guys to bloat. It hits them so fast that you don't know about it till you're ready to feed them and they're dead. So it's no time to even try to give them any, anything for the gas. I added some smethicone to this. It's the only liquid, uh, liquid stuff they had for babies. And apparently that, that may be what did it. Maybe that's the taste of that in there. It was only a drop. Maybe the taste of that was just enough to make them like this stuff.
knows what that's like anyway since they eat bugs. Pups, they do drink their mother's milk and we can only try to imitate it. Only a bat knows what mother's milk tastes like. I don't know of any rehab volunteers going around sucked on a bat's nipple. Although some do say they kiss their bat. I do have that on my hat. I had a hat made with that on there. If you kissed a bat today. Come on, little guy. You're not over yet. It's been four hours since your last feeding. I would normally fed him around two, but he ate so much last time I didn't want to overdo it. And his charts are looking good right now, so I'll be happy with him just to maintain what he's doing. If you can do a half a gram, I figure you should be getting about a quarter of a gram a day, quarter to a half. Once he stays within that window, I'll be happy. Let's flip this paper around a little bit. Give you a little more platform to walk on. There you go. A little couple now. And a smile for the camera. My finger in the way, but I gotta kind of hold your head a little bit. Oh, come on. I know you haven't had enough yet. You only had a quarter, and you've been doing real good at eating more than half of a CC. Come on. Maybe that just got cold a little bit. They do like it warm. I forget what that temperature is, but it's pretty close to the same as ours, about 100 degrees. I imagine mother's milk is probably pretty warm too. And this thing's had time to cool a little bit. And maybe it's just enough where he doesn't want to eat it anymore. I know you've only had about one cc when I weigh you. I know you're going to be a good guy and give me at least three grams on intake. Five would be great. You gave me eight last night. That was a bit much. On Photoshop, I could blow these pictures up. I'm not exactly sure what I can do with these. I do have a bunch of uh, video programs. I guess I might get these things made and just play around with them and see what I can do with it. There's all kinds of special effects I can do with them. Oh, come on. Yeah. He's getting to the point I want him to stop, so I guess I'm going to weigh you. You better not be... You better not be getting like you were there, guy. You're doing real good there. All day today and yesterday. I guess we don't have any MDBD because of that week that you've been sloughing off on me. I've had about six days of slow eating here. Dog, you're not helping. Eight point one, well you're over at eight mark, but that's not very much we see. Yeah that's okay. Eight point one, weight at seven four. What's that? That's six seven, that's uh that's point seven grass plenty. So, this guy's, this guy's pretty smart, he knows when he's had enough. 0.7 is plenty. Either. Once I can get around 0.5, I'll be happy. I know he's going to be putting on weight. Keep giving that milk and 
Nope, didn't seem to be doing anything. I really don't have to... As most mammal babies, you, the mother will lick them to stimulate them after they're finished eating because their little guts don't, muscles aren't formed yet. With this guy, you don't have to do anything with him. He just does it all over you. Don't tell him how pissed off he is. Dragging him out from his nice warm little... Little cage over there. I gotta get some uh, heat lamps. This guy's been basically living underneath the uh, heating pad I got over there. He's really getting it soiled. He should be hanging up, hanging up, and not getting soiled. Yeah, yeah, you're losing your belly on your fur there, guy. That is not what we want. start bathing you after every meal now. Get back, mutt. I'm surrounded with three dogs right here, too. I'm sure the smells aren't really helping with this guy, but I figure these pups. If it was a mud problem, these pups. Just, they shouldn't know any better. Because they haven't experienced the smells yet. But there's a lot of incident going on in there, too. Yeah, you got a nice fat little bit of belly. Unfortunately, it's supposed to be furred. And you've lost some of that. And that's one thing, uh, the other recipe, which is the one that they've changed for these bats, has a lot of oil in it. Other rehabbers have had a problem with them having bloat problems. But one of the oils is flaxseed oil, which you give them and have fur loss. Well, this guy going to stay fur loss because I don't trust the oils in there yet. And I don't want him to be fattened up yet before I even think about giving him any oils. I know it's probably good for him. But this, this guy came in at 7 or 8, 9 I think it was originally. I had to pull out the chart. But I think he came in around 8 9. I think 7 9. Can't recall the chart right offhand. I think he came in at 8 9. So he's down 2 grams. So he gets up over around 9. I'll be happy. You know, like, he's still got fur loss. So I'll use some flexi oil on him. By then I'll have the uh, heat lamps and then get him to hang off the side of the cage. He won't have this urine problem that he's apparently having. Well, that's it for now. That's 13. That's a bad number, isn't it? I guess I'll wait till 14 minutes. Not that we're superstitious, but... Nice. White tip fate, right? This guy's doing good. Well, he's going to stay good. Well, anyway, I don't know if you can get a close-up of this guy or not. Looks like he's kind of... This thing's got an auto-focus to it. Hoping it'll focus on the hand. Okay, that's my finger. And he's hiding behind my other finger because he's a crevice dweller and he wants a little little attic to hide behind. There you go. Meet Fleming. And if I can find that animation program I got, I'll make him talk. I have a talking little slimmy here. Problem is, my high-end computers are all down, so I wouldn't be able to run the program I wanted to. I've got one sitting over there I need to put together. I guess I'll do that in the next couple of days. So I can run some of my uh, higher-end programs. And I was just looking, and the guy was telling me he's got to get a... Uh, 64-bit computer because the new programs don't run. They take two gigs to run the program itself. <laughs> and you can only go to four gigs on the 32 bits. So, I'm going to have to build that one up and use it and start building a new computer right away. 
can't build them fast enough, even if you know how to build them yourself. They just keep getting bigger and better. Okay. 15 minutes. I'll have to see.